I want to introduce the Orange Data Management Framework in this short presentation. This framework is the result of my hands-on experience in establishing a data management function and documenting data lineage. Some people ask me if there are several well-known data management frameworks, why do we need a new one? I'll answer this question by explaining what the Orange Framework is, demonstrating why and how companies may use it, and highlighting its distinguishing features. I communicate with many data management professionals worldwide. I've summarized the common questions they've had about data management implementation. How to define the scope of data management that fits my company's needs and resources? Which framework can I use? What is the integrated approach to implementing multiple data management capabilities? If you have the same questions, it's a good reason to become familiar with the Orange Data Management Framework. Let's start with the name of this framework. People think that this name indicates the fact that I live in the Netherlands. This assumption is wrong. I compared various data management and data management maturity models in the last few years. You can find many publications on the data crossroads site. I found a lot of discrepancies and differences between these models and their terminology. Even two leading data management guidelines, Dama Dembak by Dama International and DECAM, the Data Management Capability Assessment Model by the Enterprise Data Governance Council have quite different viewpoints on the structure and content of data management. While performing this analysis, I got a feeling that I compared peers with apples. I decided to use my best practical experience to create a model and framework that would align these approaches. So I wanted to take the best from leading industry guides, including TAGOF, a standard for enterprise architecture by the Open Group, and create a workable, pragmatic hybrid. I was looking for a name for a hybrid fruit. Do you know that an orange hasn't been created by nature, but by humans? This delicious, sweet, juicy fruit is a hybrid of two other fruits a pomelo and a mandarin. The orange symbolized my attempts to cross the pomelos of data management meta models and mandarins of data management maturity models and create a new flavor as a result. While investigating existing models, I discovered some other weaknesses of existing models. So the Orange Framework solved these issues. It provides an integrated implementation approach for various data management capabilities. Data management is multidisciplinary and consists of multiple sub-capabilities. You can't implement data quality without data governance, architecture, modeling, metadata management, and so on. The deliverables of some capabilities serve as inputs for others. The Orange Data Management Framework also incorporates a data life cycle into a data management model. For example, the location of data stewards at various data life cycle steps influences their accountabilities. Existing well-known guidelines don't take this fact into account. Many companies spend much time developing their frameworks. They try to reinvent the wheels. This framework is a ready-for-use and flexible methodology. The set of templates allows a company to adjust them to its needs. This approach helps deliver predefined products within an agreed budget and timelines. So let's take a look at some key concepts of data management. 
Data information play a crucial role in a business life cycle. All businesses have a similar goal – to survive in the long term. They accomplish this by delivering value to their stakeholders along business value chains. The business value chain starts with providers and ends with customers and other stakeholders. In the business context, Data management creates business value by providing and delivering information to relevant stakeholders, internal and external. To deliver information, a company must acquire, create, and process data. Various information technology assets constitute data chains. Data chains enable transformation of raw data into meaningful information. A company should have business processes, people, tools, and other resources to enable the functioning of the business value chain and data chains. The outcome of data management is the design, implementation, and exploitation of data chains. The term data management has different definitions. They depend on the context. The organizational level defines the goals and format of the data management capability. So when you think about implementing a data management framework, you should understand which organizational level you focus on. At the strategic level, data management aims to enhance data value. For that, a company should develop concepts and realize data management programs. At the tactical level, data management aims to perform control on data. The development of policies and processes and the realization of tactical plans will assist in achieving this goal. At the operational level, Data management should support the data lifecycle by implementing and monitoring procedures and performing operational activities. The Orange Data Management Framework mainly concentrates on the strategic and tactical levels. Every company has data. Therefore, every company manages data in one way or another. Data management is a company's ability to manage data data chains, and get value from data. So some companies still manage data using an ad hoc, informal approach. Other companies have already realized the necessity to set up data management as a business function. This fact brings us to understanding of the role of a data management framework. I consider a data management framework as a combination of models and methods that lead to establishing a formal data management function. It means that a data management framework should assist in scoping, designing, and implementing this function, and then allowing for measuring maturity and monitoring its performance. The Orange Data Management Framework assists in performing these five steps of activities. So, what is the Orange Data Management Framework? This is a collection of models and methods used to design, implement, measure the maturity, and monitor the performance of a data management capability or function. Let's discuss why a company should use this framework and how it can use it. The Orange Data Management Framework combines models and methods to establish or optimize a data management function within a company. This framework includes dozens of templates to enable a company to adjust the framework to its needs. This framework provides the model of data management. This model assists in identifying the scope and designing data management capability that fits a company's needs and resources. Any data management-related initiative is time and resource consuming. Therefore, this initiative should be feasible for the company. 
Implementing a data management function is one of the most challenging parts. The Orange Data Management Framework helps to choose the correct implementation approach and method to make this initiative feasible. It also elaborates on the logical dependencies between various data management capabilities. The data management capabilities deliver various artifacts. One of the key challenges is linking these artifacts to make data processing and transformations transparent and understandable for end users. Documenting data lineage is the means to do it. However, data lineage in a full scope also allows to design and document knowledge graphs for data assets and data management artifacts. The Orange Framework considers data management as a set of business capabilities. Data management is multifunctional and multidisciplinary. It consists of multiple lower-level capabilities. The core capability is designing and maintaining a data lifecycle. Data lifecycle management delivers business value. It transforms raw data into meaningful information to cover the information needs of multiple business stakeholders. Data governance and business architecture define the directions in which data lifecycle management operates. Data governance, data modeling, enterprise architecture, data quality, and metadata management are common supporting data management capabilities. They enable the data lifecycle. Many companies have started building their data management function by establishing these capabilities. The Orange model includes these six core capabilities and 28 sub-capabilities. It also describes each capability in terms of acquired inputs and delivered artifacts, policies, processes, roles, and information technology tools. The distinguishing features of the Orange model is that it links a data lifecycle and data management capabilities. Data is dynamic. It moves and transforms along data chains. The data lifecycle model reflects this dynamic. It's essential to realize that different data management capabilities enable different steps of the data lifecycle model. The orange model describes techniques and provides templates to scope and design and depth required data management capabilities. When you've designed a data management capability, you should implement it. Implementation is always the most challenging part. The Orange Framework includes the data management star. This is the implementation methodology. This method is business driver based. In this context, a business driver is an ultimate reason for implementing data management at a particular moment to realize the company's business strategy. The scope of data management will differ depending on the nature of business drivers. The data management star method includes key five steps. A data management framework should assist in performing five activities – scope, design, implement, measure maturity, and performance. The first step scope in the framework focuses on analyzing a company's needs and resources regarding a formal data management function. The key success factor is that the framework fits the company's needs and resources. The second step focuses on identifying the company's ambitions and plans by developing a data strategy and roadmap. After that, the company should develop and implement the required data management capabilities. Data governance and data modeling are examples. 
The capability design includes the development of policies, standards, roles, processes, and so on. Step 3 focuses on identifying the implementation methods that fit the company's resources, culture, and the initiative scope. The fourth step is dedicated to the development of performance monitoring practices. When a company already has an established data management function, it can perform a detailed data management maturity assessment. It helps to compare initial intentions with the results achieved. This is the fifth step. The five-step approach is iterative by nature. The Orange Framework elaborates on the logical dependencies between different data management capabilities and their artifacts. The following statement is the cornerstone of this framework. The implementation of data management framework follows the logic of data lineage documentation. Data lineage and knowledge graphs allow for linking data management artifacts at various abstraction levels. This conclusion is based on the complex model of metadata, data lineage, or knowledge graphs. Data lineage is a description of data movements and transformations along data chains by linking metadata at various abstraction levels. Metadata at various abstraction levels represents artifacts of different data lineage capabilities. Think about data models, business processes, data information technology, assets, catalogs, and so on. In this context, data lineage serves as a knowledge graph for a company's data assets. I also want to share how the Orange Data Management Framework assists in implementing data management at various organizational levels. This framework assists in performing five activities, scope and design, implement, measure maturity, and performance. For scope and design activities at the strategic level, the framework assists in the development of a master document, Data Management Framework. In this document, you should assess a company's needs in data management, analyze its resources, and design the key data management capabilities needed to meet its needs. At the technical level, the framework offers the frame and content of key policies per chosen data management capability. At the operational level, the framework describes nine required standards. For implementation activities, the framework provides templates for a data management strategy or roadmap, different types of plans, and the data management star method that we've discussed in this presentation. And for performance monitoring, it recommends the way to set up key performance indicators. The Orange Framework presents two methodologies for assessing intermediate results. We have finalized the overview of the Orange Data Management Framework. Now a couple of words about me. My name is Irina Steinbey. I've been working in data management for over 13 years. In 2017, I established Data Crossroads. Data Crossroads is an enterprise specializing in data management. It offers services in the areas of data management maturity assessment, setting up data management frameworks, and developing data lineage business cases. We share our knowledge and skills by delivering on-site and online consulting, coaching, and training services. I shared my experience in four books. In 2023, I opened an online Data Crossroads Academy. It offers a set of free and paid courses. Data Crossroads Academy is a place where data management professionals and business professionals can gain and expand their knowledge of data management 
and upgrade their practical skills. Currently, this academy offers five free webinar recordings. For non-professionals, it offers a program Data Management for Finance and Business Professionals. It's an introductory training program. For Data Management Professionals, we propose an extended advanced program establishing a data management function. This program has several objectives to share knowledge and assist in developing practical skills, to establish a data management capability and function, to demonstrate practical methods to scope and design a data management framework, and to show an integrated approach to implementing multiple data management capabilities. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, you can contact us via our site datacrossroads.nl and schedule a 30-minute free session. Let's connect on LinkedIn. You see the link to my profile on the slide.